Hi, my name is Natasha Holland and today I am here to tell you about this painting. This is my new painting and I would like to tell you a story about how this painting came, the idea of this painting and what this painting all about. This is a very interesting and deep meaning uh, uh, about, about it. And, uh, you know, I was in Brno. This is a town in Czechia, Czech Republic. And I was there with um, a company of people who called themselves a heavenly civilization. This is a mission of this um, group of people. And now it's a very big group of people from all over the world. And uh, many of them are Russian speaking, uh, but they're people from Ukraine, uh, Russia, Kazakhstan, uh, America, England. Uh, Germany, many ex-Soviet uh, republics. So all of those people are with one company and uh, with one mission. And we have our pastor, uh, whose name is Andrei Yakovishin and his wife, Ole. And uh, they are amazing people, amazing people. And they uh, called us to come to a Czech Republic and we are there for a second time. First time we were in Prague and the second time uh, I came to Brno. And we were enjoying ourselves and we have a conference. We call those conferences as celebrations. That's our celebration. Uh, why? Because uh, when uh, uh, we come together, we celebrate. We celebrate who we are and we celebrate um, Jesus. We celebrate our unity with Him. We celebrate understanding that Jesus uh, revealed Himself through us and He is revealing uh, himself through every person who understand this, who understand who Jesus is and understand their unity with Christ. And also, when you start to understand that the mind of Christ is your mind, which Bible says so, and uh, you also understand what Jesus said when he, he talked to his disciples and he said, if you saw me, you saw Father. If you see me, you see Father. Why do you ask me to show Father, Philip? If you see me, you see Father. And you know, it's time for a Christians, it's time for not just the Christians but all people to come to understanding that Father and humanity are one. Father want to reveal himself through humanity and through each individual just in the same way as Father revealed himself uh, through Jesus. Jesus came to be an example. So that's shortly about sonship and uh, mission of the heavenly civilization is to reveal sons on this earth, to tell them about sonship, to tell them that Father is their Father and He is love and He is always near and He never been separated with them. He, that they were always in Him because He is the one who filled everything and anything here on earth. By Him we walk and live and exist. And I'm quoting from the Bible. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you that I am uh, that I am able to speak now your thoughts, that I am able to hear your word, to hear what you say and deliver to people here and now. Hallelujah. So I would like to continue the story about this painting. So in a hotel where we lived in Brno, uh, nearby we were the cathedral. And as we went there, we saw an amazing beauty. Everything was in gold, this beautiful artwork of paintings were all paintings and sculptures and uh, as an artist I took my camera and I started to take uh, all these beautiful photos but the anointing in that place was so strong and it just hit us and I couldn't take any photos any longer we would just start praying with my friend Svetlana and uh, we were just blessing that place and we start to ask Father, why are we there? And as I asked this question, he said, you are here to receive angels from this place and to re release angels which you brought with you. And uh, when we were in Bruno, we were walking around um, special places of um, saints uh, who were lived there in Czechia and that's uh, Moravian brothers. We've been in, in these places and what we believe when you go to those places there is still angels of those people are there and you can receive those angels you can uh, take them with you so we when we came to this um, cathedral we released those um, angels of Moravian brothers and we partake or we took received those angels of Catholic world and I came to the pulpit where I'm supposed to be a priest and I was standing there and I was praying for this Catholic priest who would come later on uh, near this pulpit. And I saw in my mental um, godly imagination and my um, contemplation visually, I saw them and I saw how the power which is in me going to hit them and they will feel everything I felt in that moment. I prayed and I start to see uh, visions and contemplate uh, on that place. And my friend Svetlana, she was standing there and she was doing exactly the same. She was just uh, enjoying the atmosphere and praying and seeing angels at that moment. And then I saw um, six, six winds uh, seraphims there flying and they were fiery uh, and beautiful. I quite often see them because I paint them and uh, I love those um, amazing creatures. I believe that they are angels, those ser seraphs and uh, seraphims. And um, I start to see... Uh, uh, look at all those paintings every time I look at them I uh, I would it seems like you know when you contemplate you, you simply like thinking about it it's like you imagine it's sort of you imagining but in reality whatever is coming to your mind that's a godly imagination and that is a contemplation um, that's something you have your ability is a human um, and your ability, not just a human, but being one with the Lord. Hallelujah. So as I contemplate all the sins, I turned and I walked to Svetlana and stand in front of her and she just raised her hands and she was just 
praising God and praying and enjoying scenes and seeing scenes and I was standing in the same way and uh, by the way here is Svetlana uh, on this picture near Jesus as one with him I represent her and uh, at that moment, as I stand in front of Svetlana, I start to see myself as I start to levitate. And it was not a physical levitation. It was a mental, it was a sort of like my imagination. In my mind, I saw myself as Jesus, which lifting up in the air. And there on, a, on the top, uh, near the ceiling, I was standing as Jesus and see myself like that, one with the Christ, one in Him and one as Him. I was standing, my hands were like like that, you know, like it's in the old-fashioned, um, many Catholic and other pictures where you see Jesus with the hands stretched like that, seems like He's showing His wounds. Uh, I was covered with um, kind of material around me and I really felt myself as Jesus at that moment and I was, uh, in reality I was standing but I see myself as lifted up and I start to pray for Svetlana and then I saw Svetlana right in front of me and I came close and I start to crown her. I put a crown which looked like a uh, Catholic uh, hat which wear a Catholic uh, pop. Um, I can't exactly remember the name, like a mantra. Um, I wouldn't say because I will get wrong. <laughs> I, w uh, I can't remember exact name but that uh, crown uh, or this uh, heart, whatever uh, you say I, w I was um, I, I hold it in my hands and I've been crowning on the head of Svetlana I put on the head of Svetlana and in her Svetlana at that moment she represent uh, the every human being it's like she, she was a representation of uh, sonship, representation of the Son of God at that moment and also uh, she was representing an uh, hypostas of uh, women. It's like women hypostas which Christ revealed himself through her because Christ revealed himself through man and through woman equally. There is no male or female when you in Christ. But women represent Christ. It's a very special thing as well. Uh, it's an epistas of women who represent son. That's interesting and that's what I saw and that's what uh, I was doing, crowning her. Uh, Svetlana and at the same time I was crowning myself I could say and every woman but that's also a representation of every human being and that's the meaning which is here on that painting and also Svetlana as she told me she saw uh, angels with uh, golden wings and uh, one of the angels, it's huge, with a very big golden wings with a crown on um, his, oh, you couldn't say uh, his head. Uh, and it was interesting and one of my friends who was listening uh, my uh, description of our experience uh, on the audio she saw everything I was saying and she started to see her own pictures and she said I saw you she said I saw you as that angel uh, and I know that uh, every one of us uh, has an angels who look like us um, so it was very special and interesting experience. And then as um, 
coronation of uh, Svetlana <laughs> uh, finished, I start to hearing those uh, like voices. Um, it also was going through my imagination, uh, my inner hearing, you know, if I could say. And it was uh, um, happy crying. This only how I can uh, describe those. Uh, it was crying, but it was crying in happiness. It was cry of people who been coming to this uh, church, to this place for many years, and they were expecting Christ to come. And you know how the Bible said that creation is groaning, groaning and crying, I would say, that uh, for the sons of God to be revealed. They was expecting, creation expecting for sons. And who of those sons? That's you and me. Those sons who representing Christ here on earth. And those people, when he see that the spiritual scene was going on, uh, I believe that in the spirit there is no time for that time. Those people, they saw not me, they saw Christ. They saw Christ who me, Svetlana, and many people may be in me at that time who were representing Christ. And they were crying, they were saying, uh, they were saying uh, like, Jesus, Jesus, you came. We're so glad that you came, Jesus. We were expecting you. We're so happy and so glad. And they were crying with a crying voice. But there is a happiness and enjoyment and, and that voice that, that there at last you came. And what I want to say that you are sons who you reveal in Christ here on earth. That's you who would be revealing Christ here on earth and that's you who those people are, ex people are expecting to come. They expecting you and they will see Christ in you and when you come they will be satisfied with this power which you will bring, power of God which you have in you and then sons would be revealed in those people as well. And when sons will be revealed across the earth and people will start to transform it, and this transformation will be very um, very immediate, very quick transformation because their mind will start to see things differently and they would realize it's realization of who they are as Christ because that's why they were born. They came to this earth as Christ, to be Christ, to reveal Christ. to reveal. And as soon as they realize that they are sons, those uh, people, as soon as they know who they really are, they would start to reveal Father. That's the next glory. Because we are uh, revealing ourselves from glory to glory according to understanding of our mind. First you understand that you are bright. You are the bride of Christ. And that's great and that's beautiful. And you are expecting and you cry, Christ, Jesus come and help. Jesus come. And that's okay. That's one uh, level and one glory and glorious. And I've been there and I was experiencing the beauty of that. I experienced the love and unity with Christ. And that's a glory. But then I came to the stage when I realized that uh, I'm not just a bride. I have a union. I remember when I was asking, but how is it going to be this hoopa, hoopa with Christ, you know, when I became his wife and I thought it was going to be there in heaven when I come. I don't know when, but it's going to be there and I became that wife of Christ. But do you know that in the Jewish tradition, when you became um, bride, you became a wife.
at the same time that's true you can find out for yourself research about it but a contract when you sign in contract as bride you become wife straight away there is no difference so uh, in uh, if I say in Russian translation it says it is done it's happened but in English it would be it is finished finished what and in that moment on a cross it's finished unity with Christ bright and Christ one it's not just a bride any longer, it's his wife. And it's the next level of understanding that you are one. You are in Christ and Christ is in you. You are one. There is no difference. There is no separation of two of you. You are one. And the next stage, the next glory which is going to be revealed to humanity and to a Christian specifically, um, it, it's going to be revealed that you are sons. How is it? Son, whether you male or female, you are son. Why? Because not just daughter, yes, you are his daughter still if you are female. You are still beautiful daughter, but when you reveal Christ as one with him, when you are in unity with him and it is finished, you male or female is finished, you are one, you are Christ. You are Christ revealed to this earth. You are one with Him. You can't say, I am not Christ. Christ is one. No, He is one, but you are in Him. It's why He said, you are my body. As a whole humanity together been partaking it's in Him. And you've never been separated uh, from Him. It's why it says you've been crucified in Christ before the foundation of this earth hallelujah and it's a new stage when you realize when it's come to you as a revelation who you are in him and that you are one and you cannot be exist without him there is no place where you can separate you you whenever you go he is there how david said if you go there he's there he was talking to god but uh, father um, but to the whole, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit is one. If you saw me, you saw Father, Christ said. Same, it's time came for you to say, if you see me, you see Father, because you are the Son. Not just Son, the Son, because you are one with son you cannot be separated it's by it's why bible said that you have the mind of christ hallelujah just think about it the mind of christ you 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 have the mind i have the mind and this mind is revealed in you from glory to glory bright is one glory wife is the next glory unity and this sun is the next glory and there is more glory to it and the next glory it's when jesus said if you see me you see father and now for you time to come to the next glory each glory is bigger than the one before the first glory was glorious but the next is even more next glory is even more glorious and it's swallowing up the glory which is before it's taken you are taken with that glory in a new glory a new glory is revealed hallelujah just pray that this revelation will be revealed to you and the next glory is father christ is in father you are in christ but you have father in you and this is the next glory and now I would like to read to you from the Bible because I know you want me to say where is it in the Bible show me 
I know some people would uh, interpret uh, this differently, many people interpret this scripture different way, but I want to say to you that scriptures are interpreted in a many way. It's all dependent in which glory you are now. If you're in the glory of the bright, you will be interpreted from that glory, from that understanding, from what your mind is understanding. You cannot interpret from the mind which has not been, uh, which did not have a revelation about it. But I'm speaking to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm speaking to you from the and by the word of the uh, Lord God, I am Jehovah. I am speaking to you from the uh, word, by the word of the Father. And I am saying from the Bible, and I am reading from them. God stands in the congregation of the mighty. He judges among the gods. And I want to say, and many people interpret different way, who are they gods? I want to say to you, you are those gods. He's standing among your congregation. He's standing right now. And he's speaking to you through me right now. He is standing there. I'm going to miss uh, this because he's talk about sins which is going on. And he's talking to people from the uh, Old Testament about the things they do. And then he's saying, they know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundation of the earth are out of curse. And as I said before, there is... Uh, Bible, scriptures in the Bible, they are, can be interpreted in many, many different ways. It all depends what your understanding is here. In uh, which glory of the mind of Christ you are at that moment. Go farther. And I want to read this place. The God knows nothing. They understand nothing. They walk about in darkness. All the foundation of the earth are shaking. The Father is actually talking to you. And in that moment he was talking to, to the people there at that time. But that's relevant to us because the sonship is understanding of your nature of understanding of who you are. You cannot reveal Christ if you do not understand that you have the nature of God inside you. It doesn't matter that you put capital or small letter here. It does not make any difference. The Father of God, the great I am is in you. And your thoughts, it's His thoughts. You would say, some of them are silly. Well, silly is not his. <laughs> uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And the scripture, the next, uh, the next verse. I said, you are gods. You are all sons of the Most High. But you will die like a mere mortals. You will fall like every other ruler. Come back to the previous verse where it says, They walk about in darkness. All the foundation of the earth are shaken. So why foundation of the earth are shaken? Because people do not understand who they are. They walk in darkness. They don't know how to connect with the mind of Christ. They don't know how to hear the voice of the Father inside their head. They don't know His thoughts. That's why all creation are groaning. 
and crying out for sons to be revealed. And it's that's what I heard when I was in this place in that church when I heard these people were crying. And they saw Son of God came. When they see me in spirit, they saw Christ. Those people, they saw Christ and they crying out. And they were uh, crying in happiness. They were welcoming. You came. At last you came. You know, that's what all creation and including people waiting for you to realize that you and Christ are one. That you and Almighty are one. That you are the part of the Trinity in Christ. That's why he gave you his place. And he said, son, sit here in throne. Sit in me and rule over this earth. I am in you and I'm enjoying to be in you, in each one of you. And I want to experience you. I want to experience you and you and you. I want to experience your life. I want to live your life with you. I want to see through your eyes. I want to touch with your hands, but that's my hands too. Every cell of your body, it's my cell. It's crying out. I am one with the Almighty. Hallelujah. And he's saying you are gods. But if you do not understand that, you will die like a man. And Jesus later on repeat that scripture to Pharisees when they were blaming him that he was uh, saying that he is the son of God. They knew if he is saying that he is the son of God, he is equal with the father. You cannot be son and not be equal. If you refuse equality with God, do not call yourself son of God. Do not even call yourself the bride of God. You cannot be bright without being equal. No woman would marry somebody who is not equal. I do not talk about um, now like human married to a human. You cannot marry a, a, a cow or wolf. No, that's silly example. You would say, you're silly saying that. No. So God married God. He came to the unity only with God. That's not silly. You always in Him. You were always inside Father. It's why you crucified in Him before the foundation of the earth. And Scripture confirmed that. That, that all I'm saying is just quoting Scriptures to you. And whatever word I'm saying, it's actually confirmed by the uh, Word of God. That's Romans 8, 19, I've been saying before. For the earnest expectation of the creature waits for the manifestation of the sons of God. Your crucifixion with Christ has severed the tie to this life, and now your true life is hidden away in God, in Christ. And as Christ himself, is seen for who he really is, who you really are will also be revealed, for you are now one with him in his glory. So your true life is hidden away in Christ. Hidden. Uh, other scriptures saying wrapped, wrapped in Christ. That's beautiful. And Christ himself seen through you who he really is, who you really are, will also be revealed, for you are now one with him in his glory. One in him, one with him in his glory. His glory, as we talked before, when we move from glory to glory, his glory revealed and you revealed. Christ revealed through you in his glory. It's beautiful. And the other scripture, Passion Translation. Every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm has already been lavished upon us 
as a love gift from our wonderful Heavenly Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus, all because He sees us wrapped into Christ. Our Father sees you wrapped into Christ. That's what I'm talking about. When Father looking at you, He sees Christ. That's why those people they're looking at, at me, I was there, but I'm talking about spiritual experience, but they saw Christ. So people need to see Christ in you. This is why we celebrate Him with all our hearts and in love. He chose us before He laid the foundation of the universe because of His great love. He ordained us so that we would be seen as holy in His eyes, with an unstained innocence. Hallelujah! That's amazing! That's beautiful! Um, the Father sees us innocent. He sees us holy in Christ. But I'm, I'm not going to talk today about it. That's obvious. To me, that's obvious uh, for many years now. I understand that truth. That's why Christ came, but not just for that. He came to show you example who you really are. And now He revealing Himself through you. You came, He came to show who uh, you supposed to be, right? But now you came to this earth to show Christ who He really is, and He would be shown through you, and that's the goal of the Father. But not just that, that's a new glory, the glory of Sonship, when Son revealed Father. That's when Christ was walking on this earth, He was showing Father. That's why He was surprised. Why are you asking me, Philip? You see me, you see Father. There, you wanted to see Father, there I am. <laughs> and people were just calling him heretic, that is what he was saying, the heresy. You may say what I'm saying, that heresy, but that's a great uh, calling. <laughs> because who just not been called heretic? Jesus been called heretic. Paul was called heretic. All disciples, been, whatever they were preached, they were saying heresy. Uh, Martin Luther, heretic, and just keep on saying that. Um, so I'm in a great assembly of <laughs> saints who came, and that's why I came to the Mount of Zion. I'm already there. And if you join me in understanding, if this revelation come to you, you see yourself there with me. And the innumerable numbers of angels, and we are here on earth because heaven and earth united by the head who is Christ and he is in you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. So those revelations I wanted to deliver to you today when I was uh, asking Father what is the mean thought for this painting, he said that that's what uh, exactly uh, I am. The, so the painting called I am, but that's great I am is in you. And he wants to reveal himself through you. He's talking to you. He's talking to you daily. He's talking to you all the time, non-stop. He's talking. Just listen to his voice. Take a pen. It's how uh, I've been starting to listen to the voice of God. I've been taking um, a book and a copy book and pen and I would write down thoughts. And the thoughts would start to flow when you're ready to receive them. Uh, and you would know that that's God because thoughts would be amazing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And I would like to pray for you now. And I would like to say that being one with the Trinity, you reveal 
uh, not just the Father and the Son, but you reveal the Holy Spirit because the one who united with the Lord is one spirit with the Lord of the Bible. And you are one spirit. And the Holy Spirit has uh, many substances. And he revealed himself, or it, I, d I don't like to say it, because, but he is it in some cases because he revealed himself as fire. He revealed himself as a river of life, which is coming out, the, the Bible says, it's coming out out of your belly. The rivers of life will flow out of your belly. And also, uh, Father, when he's sitting on a throne, the river of life coming out of him. That the one picture. You, when the river of life coming, uh, coming out of you, and the Father, when the river of life coming out of him. That's all substances of the Holy Spirit. And you can release those substances out of you. And how do you do it? By contemplating, by seeing godly, using godly imagination and see those things. If with this contemplation you can go and heal people. You can contemplate yourself, how you healing yourself. And you can contemplate how you healing the other people. It's when you can go with those substances in people, organs, and release the glory, release the fiery love of God, which can burn anything which is not further planted there. It's any un uh, oncology, um, any sickness, any disease, anything which is not further planted, any oncology, uh, whenever in any organs of people you know you can go you can go by the Holy Spirit there see yourself as the fire and there is many scriptures which confirm that you can do this and uh, if if you would like we can talk um, next time about it so you can go and you receive just release this fire into the people's organs, into their bodies, into your own body. And I thank you, Father, for this ability, those instruments which you give it to us. It is amazing Holy Spirit which is flow through us, in us, and by us to the places which we want. And this is the way you will rule and reign you rule in your body first of all and you rule in whatever is surrounding you you can rule in your family by helping you can rule in uh, by helping neighbors and make everybody happy and healthy by the holy spirit hallelujah so i just want you to see those your loved ones who need who in need right now and i want you to go in them in the organs in their bodies whatever it is and i'm i can hear now liver uh, uh, if there is a liver problem with the liver you just go and you just release that fire on the liver and you know there's a fire of love that's not just the fire in our uh, understanding as a human that's a fiery love of god we just go through the liver and it just um burn we just burning now everything which is not father planted every cancer cell is burned now in jesus name hallelujah liver you healthy you happy you beautiful liver you created for the glory of the father hallelujah you are immortal liver you are beautiful liver. It's another aspect of immortality which is in you. That's a potential which your body has. It's why in Psalm 82 it says that you are God. But if you not understand who you are, you will die like any mortal man. Hallelujah. But what would be if you understand who you are? <laughs> then... 
The answer is you would not die. So if your liver would understand that she that it it's the same liver as Jesus, as you are united with Jesus. And we, when we are partake his body and his uh, blood, why do we partake? To remember. And people usually would say, to remember that Jesus died on the cross and how he was suffering. Yes, that's true. But I never forget that. What's the next stage to remember? I ask Father. I never forget that. What else I remember? And Father said, you remember that every cell of your body, it's Jesus. Every cell of your liver, every cell of your heart, every cell of any part of your body, it's Jesus' cell. It's Jesus. It's Jesus in you. It's why when you partake in, you remember that. Jesus and I are one. And this liver, this heart, this my organs, my inner organs, they will never be sick anymore because I release the glory. And the glorious light which I am walking in and walking by and I never walk away from it. And the fire of love, fiery love is cleansing my body. Hallelujah. And you can also go in the river of life and you can be there, you can dip yourself in a but you can see yourself in the river and you can flow in the river into the home. I remember when I used to pray for my brother, I would just see her window in here, I could see his flat and I could see her window open up and I can see how the river of life is just floating into his flat and everything is filled with it and swallowing up them who in that flood but swallowing not to drown but drowned in the love of the Father hallelujah hallelujah just see the things and know that you can use the substances of the Holy Spirit for His glory. For His glory is to be revealed here on earth and you are the one who is going to do this. Hallelujah. A greater, even greater things that, than Jesus. Hallelujah. Because He's bringing you up into a more glorious, glorious glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And just continue to go with those substances. And you have wisdom to choose any substance you like and Holy Spirit will help you. And you can go into your mind. And you can burn all bad memories. You can burn depression. And you can go into your eyes. You can fill them with the light of the Father. Hallelujah. And you can see how they fill with the light. And your eyesight is improving. And your eyes are open in Jesus' name. And you can go in your yes and you would say yes. Be open in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You can see how those uh, organs of your ears are restored, a full restoration, full restoration to your teeth, to your hair, to your joints, to your skin in Jesus' name. Be filled with the glory of glorious light and walk in it and walk by it and fill the earth with it. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Glory be to the Father and glory be revealed through you. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Our glorious Father and Lord Jesus, that we are one. For this purpose, I came to this earth. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you.